Hello everyone, the theme here, and I want to take the time to talk about the upcoming Gamescom. Now, as I record this, it is August 2nd, 2015. Gamescom is in a couple of days. And with that, people are totally anticipating what Microsoft is going to bring to the table at that time. Now, personally, I don't have an Xbox One, but I also doesn't I don't have a PS4 or a Wii U as well. I'm not any type of fanboy. I don't suck the dick of any company. I just don't get systems when they first launch. I tend to wait it out to see what they're going to bring to the table, and then I'll make my judgment, and then that's when I pick up, because it's all about good gaming to me. And everybody has their choices. Everyone has their taste. Everyone has their varieties. However you game, game and love it. <laughs> now, back to Microsoft at Gamescom. You see, Phil Spencer has come out and said that third-party exclusive deals, that's not his long-term focus. His long-term focus are first-party and first-party titles. Now, I've already made a video discussing certain first-party titles that they should bring back. And that should be one of the main focuses that Microsoft should be having right now going into Gamescom. You see, there are a lot of people out there that still have a lot of skepticism towards the Xbox and the Xbox division as, as a whole, especially the Xbox One. Because there's too many arguments of saying that Xbox does, doesn't have enough exclusives. Truth be told, back then, during the first original Xbox, they had a whole bunch of exclusives that they didn't capitalize on and keep those going. So when it came to the 360 and those titles started to leave, everybody started scratching their heads. It was like, wait a minute, why why they're not bringing out these titles that we all would buy, play, and love all at once? So for me, if Microsoft is ever going to convince me to get an Xbox One, they have to do certain things. Focus on gaming and gaming as a whole and gaming first and foremost. Microsoft can can focus on everything that they want to focus on as far as their own other things. But then there's gaming as far as the Xbox division. The Xbox division has to bring back their first party titles and announce other first party titles that are only going to be on their console. The console. Don't keep giving shit away to Windows 10 or the PC as well. Focus on your console. Competition is what makes this industry thrive. When you buy a video game system, you must be playing video games on it. All the other features are cool, like I said before, but video games must be first and first only. Now, I'm just going to say everything that I, I said this before. With the first party titles that they once had, that they did not capitalize on their sequels on. You have Fusion Frenzy that never got a part three. Part one was great as a party game. Part two sucked. Part three could have brought them back out of the hole, so to speak. You had Kung Fu Chaos. That never got a part two. Crimson Skies didn't get a part three. Or, or, or a part two, I should say. Part one, the first Crimson Skies was in the arcade. The second one was on the Xbox. But we needed a Crimson Skies 2 on the Xbox. Blood Wake 2. One person... I even bought that game for my cousin, Bloodwake, and a lot of people didn't think it was all that. But Bloodwake 2, Xbox Live, that's basically Water Halo, <laughs> when you think about it. That, and that would be a great fucking title to add for their for their console, as far as the exclusives. You have Mecha Salt. Mecha Salt has been gone for a long period of time, and a lot of people would like to see that brought back. One person brought to my attention Brute Force. I forgot about that title on the Xbox. I'm like, come on, bring that back, make it better than before. A lot of people, oh, it wasn't all that good, fuck that. Bring that shit back and make it better than before. That's what sequels are supposed to do. Take the first title and make it better. So, Microsoft, my word to you, my advice to you is to look out for those titles that you had back then. Look at them, find them, reach out, grab them, bring them in. Embrace them. Come out with all that shit again. Competition, like I said before, makes this industry thrive. 
you bring those titles back and a lot more first party titles other companies like Nintendo and Sony, you know, they'll be looking like, oh my God, they're doing, oh my, oh no, what do we do? And you guys, Microsoft can be like, yeah, look at all, look at all this. What you gonna do? We have this now. Bring it. So the other companies will be like, all right, all right, fine, fantastic. We're gonna fucking bring it. Next thing you know, who does that benefit the most? Us, gamers as a whole, because there will just be nothing but good gaming all around. And hell. It may persuade me to get an Xbox One. It may persuade me to do so. But I need to see games that I'm, I'm, I need to see games that I'm going to be interested in. Like I said, everyone has different tastes. And for the people that already have Xbox Ones, not knocking you. Not knocking you at any extent. Enjoy your gaming. But my personal opinion, they need more first party titles in order for me to grasp on that system. Especially if they're going to bring those first party titles back that I mentioned before. Don't get me wrong. Don't get rid of third party. You can't do that. <laughs> Neo Geo had no, the Neo Geo system itself had nothing but first party titles, and look what happened to them. Nintendo doesn't have enough third party titles. Look what's happening to them. Look at all the opinions that people have about Nintendo. So, don't do that. Don't get rid of all your third party titles. Have them too. But what I'm saying is. I dearly hope, I hope to God that Microsoft comes out swinging at Gamescom. Not because I just want them to, but in my opinion, every company should be moving toward the next level. They need to. They need to be on par with competition or go step above it. Not just announcing shit, but showing the shit as well. Don't just go and reiterate what you just shown at E3. We know about Halo. Don't announce more Halo maps or anything like that. We'll get that within a couple of months. Don't Focus on the HoloLens. We already know about that shit. Don't, yeah, Fable Legends, show gameplay or whatever, but focus. Totally bring your focus, leave the, and by the way, leave the connect alone, and let that die. But total, totally focus on new shit. Announce new shit. You don't have to show footage for every fucking thing that you announce as far as it being new, but at least announce it and be like, yeah, this is coming, this is coming, this is coming. What, what you gonna do? Hell. <laughs> like I said before, hey, come on, you want, hey, Microsoft, this is, it, it's awaiting you. It's awaiting you if you announce good ass shit. Here I come. Ah, oh, damn it. Yes, 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 yeah. Here, thank you. Mm -hmm. Ah, good shit. That's what everybody wants to do as a gamer. <laughs> everybody wants to buy their shit. Everyone wants to buy and play and enjoy good shit. That's what it's all about, and that's what it's always been all about. So, Microsoft, please. And, and, and the thing about it is, no one gave the original Xbox a chance. When that first released in 2001, people were like, what is this? Why is Microsoft making consoles? People did not give that shit a chance. But what did Microsoft do? They came out swinging and had third and first party titles, and they proved everybody wrong. Motherfuckers were like, Microsoft isn't gonna last. They, they gave, people gave Microsoft one year or two years. Microsoft proved all of the motherfuckers wrong, didn't they? I have an Xbox. I have an Xbox 360. Those were great consoles. And they had first party titles and they had third party titles. Most of their third party titles was better than the competition. So what I'm saying is Microsoft needs to take that mindset again as to bring out the first party titles, come out and try to take control of the market. Hell, I have a video that says China has lifted their 15 year ban on consoles maybe people of china will watch the gamescom and be like oh that's the system i'm gonna get now like i said before microsoft please i'm begging you come out soon because as a gamer and for you microsoft fans out there you should be wanting that more than anybody else fanboys listen don't knock yeah. Don't knock gaming as a home. Don't be a gamer against gaming. That's the most annoying shit that there ever is with video game in the, with the video game industry, because that kills the industry bit by bit. So that's all I have to say upon that. I just want Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo to do well because once again, who does it benefit? Gamers. So for the benefit of common sense logic and gaming 
This is the theme, and I'll see you later. Credits.